Good parents hope their children grow up to be happy and successful. But life presents twists and turns. That's why this Randolph, Massachusetts couple drew up a financial plan for their kids. So we thought, all right, well, if we could buy them homes. That's something you could call home. By the time they get to a certain age, they'll have a lot of equity. The home will be making money and they can kind of find their self in this world. Tell me about these listings. How Alex and Joanna Edwards own Thumbprint Realty in Boston, which Alex founded in 2015. They have a large team that's busy house hunting and sealing deals every day. The Edwards's personal goal? Building generational wealth for their family, says Alex, who grew up in Dorchester. I was a rough, rough neighborhood. In high school, I took the first time home buying class. When I graduated, I had an opportunity to work in Brookline. And it was the first time outside of my neighborhood. And it just opened my mind and realized there's a lot more out there in the world. And I seen something that I'd never seen in my life. People with time and money. Inspired, Edwards learned about mortgages and business administration at a local bank and at Mass Bay Community College. When he became a realtor and developer, he saw families bogged down with debt. We see in, within the communities that we've grown up in that, you know, the dollar doesn't stretch beyond the family that passes away. We weren't raised in wealthy families. We really just were intentional about what we wanted our kids to see and being the change that we want to see in the world as opposed to telling them and leading by example. Married since 2015, the Edwards have since bought a property for each of their children through a trust. Carter is seven years old and Callie is four. When we pulled up, Callie said, Carter, we're at your house. So they understand. This two family in Everett belongs to Carter. It's now a lucrative Airbnb. We completely renovated the home from down to the studs. So we were really, really intentional about making it a beautiful place. And uh, of course, it's very clean. And that's one thing that we strive for. Carter has thoughts about home ownership. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Callie owns her own place as well. The strict trust determines what Callie and her brother can do with their properties. If they want to go to college, they could use the rents or whatever the, the home is making to pay for their college. But after college, they still have an investment property to fund their life. They can't sell any of the homes. If they want to pull out equity, they have to talk to financial advisors. Well, if they wanted to pull out equity in the home to maybe start a business that's going to create more funding or more assets, maybe take out equity in the home to buy more property and maybe they would want to leave that property to their children. Chronicle found out about the Edward story from Liz Cooper, who read an article about the couple in the Dorchester Reporter. Cooper works at Mass Bay Community College. What a smart, innovative way to help your children. So I just fired off an email to Chronicle and I said, hey, if you're ever doing a real estate story, I think Carter and his dad, Alex, a Mass Bay alum, would be perfect. The Edwards teach strategies for building wealth through books and social media. Callie is beginning to understand the value of saving. Yeah. What do you guys put in your piggy banks? Coins and money. I know. What is the coins and money for? It's for money for dollars and for ice cream. For ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. And Joanna and Alex say they started to make some smart financial decisions before they even got married. Right. They were engaged and they each bought their first house and that allowed them to take advantage of some of the uh, benefits of being a single person and buying a house. And then, of course, they both come into the marriage with their own investment property. So they were off and running. And now their kids have houses and my kids are going to talk to me about why they don't have yeah, I'm houses. I'm telling you, <laughs> I was like, I failed my children. <laughs> I'm still ahead teaching the rules of the road.